Good morning. Happy Thursday. It is Thursday, February something. Today I am back in the gym. Uh, we had a little warm spell, which was nice. It was very windy, but it is once again cold. It was supposed to snow, so it's like, you know what? I don't feel like running in the cold and the dark anymore, so I'm gonna run on the treadmill. So today, the classic six mile easy run. Hopefully the weather warms up just a little bit this weekend, but otherwise I will be back on the treadmill in the gym for today. Good morning. It is pure ice outside. It's hard to tell, but that is just nothing but ice on the ground. So yeah, I won't be running today. Unfortunate. All right, so instead of running today, I am scheduling my next video, which is the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3 review. So I went on two runs in the Invincible 3. Pretty interesting shoe. There's a lot of conversations online about this. I feel like it's one of my better editing jobs. Hopefully the content is good, uh, but I am going to schedule this right now. This will be live at 5.15 a.m. on Saturday, February 18th, but we are officially scheduled. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a cold, but beautiful day. As much as I've complained about the weather this February, we've actually had a decent amount of sunny days, so enjoying the vitamin D, it is very nice. I think I'm gonna run seven or eight miles, feeling pretty good. I ran too fast my first mile. I can't say it's an easy pace, because I was just trying to warm up as fast as I could, so I ran a little faster. I need to tone it down a little bit, or else I'm gonna be out of breath pretty quick. So I just posted my Invincible 3 review and I think it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever made from like a editing sort of technical standpoint. I kind of feel like it's the culmination of making videos for about two years and putting all the things I learned into practice. So I really like it. I hope the content's good. I'm getting some good feedback and I wanted to address a couple, a couple comments that I've seen so far. It's only been live for about I don't know, three hours, but already getting some good engagement on it. I've gotten two comments about the laces. One, would a runner's knot help? The answer is yes, it would. Do I know how to tie a runner's knot? The answer is no, I do not. The other question was, would laces that aren't as stretchy help? I don't think so. The initial Invincibles had very stretchy laces and there wasn't an issue with heel slippage at all. Again, I don't think there's a major issue. You just gotta tie the shoes a little bit differently, but I don't think non-stretchy laces would help that much however when you do tie a tighter knot or use all the loops on the shoe the laces are pretty short so maybe longer laces would be beneficial but i don't know if they would solve the small issue of heel slippage that at least i noticed on my run anyway this is the first of what i will call a sunrise session which is when you run and the sun is rising. And I've always tried to do this, but I haven't talked about it on the vlog. Whenever I'm running by a cool sunrise, I like to just take a second, you know, turn off the music, turn off the podcast, and just enjoy the moment, enjoy the sunrise, you know, clear my mind, maybe say a quick prayer, you know, just sort of clear your head and enjoy the moment. All right, so some bad news. My favorite mid-run porta potty is like locked down because there's the winter blast in Royal Oak right now, and the porta potty is in there and there's like security that is like you have to have a ticket to get in so we're in dangerous territory folks all right so back in downtown i almost got hit so it was on main street i actually in my last vlog and i'll put the clip here Kind of the same thing happened only this time the driver didn't come to a stop at all no turn signal just blew it i'm used to drivers blowing that stop sign so i expected it i wish i had my camera out unfortunately i did it but that was so close i don't think the guy ever saw me it's such a frustrating thing man because you know i made that video about how bike lanes are good for runners and 
you can put all the traffic calming measures, four-way stops, speed bumps, but it doesn't matter if someone's gonna drive that selfishly and not even bother to look at a crosswalk with a stop sign. Man, it's really discouraging because I don't think there is an answer. That's just like personal responsibility of driving a vehicle that can kill someone. Sorry for the rant. I don't know, I'm kind of worked up. It makes me so mad seeing the selfishness every single day. And I try to capture it in these vlogs with the little clips of people running stop signs. It's not a joke. Like it's not, it's like a funny thing with the points and everything, but like, man, if I am not expecting a selfish idiot like that to blow a stop sign, I'm dead. And it's just, I don't know. We shouldn't have to deal with that. So anyway, that's my rant for the day. Sorry to get so negative. I'm trying to be positive. It's sunny, it's Saturday morning. Got a lot to be thankful for, but I should not have to feel that unsafe when I run. But anyway, what are you gonna do? Be safe. You just have to run defensively, unfortunately. Anyway, back to the run. Just chilling. Saturday morning. Morning, happy Monday. I'm back on my headlamp night run grind. It is a pleasant 37 degrees out right now. This is kind of the first time in a while that it's been this warm in the morning. So why not go for a very long run? I'm running about 10 miles today. So the winter blast ended yesterday. So I'm really hoping that my favorite porta potty is open. It should be. If the event is over, I should be able to access a public park. If not, oh boy, get ready for a whole new style of rant. Future site of the Oakland Community College Culinary School. That'll be pretty cool. Okay. All right, we're good. Thank goodness. All right, look at this. They added even more. Luxury. All right, another sunrise session. Beautiful morning. Just take you a second, easing into the day. 